Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's about that time. Let's go take that walk and see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Grace Beer Reviews today. This is going to be a treat. This is 668, not 666, the sign of the devil. This is 668, the neighbor of the beast. <laughs> the ones that live next door. <laughs> this is a Belgian style golden ale. Very nice graphics on the can. Brian sent this to me. Brian, thanks again brother. This is another one from New England Brewing. Uh, the last one I had from them, uh, that he sent was pretty damn tasty so I'm not going to be uh, surprised that this one is just as tasty uh, the only fuss I've got there is no date on this and they may do the uh, dating on their six packs of the cases but kind of like to have that right on the bottom of the can so uh, that's the only thing that I can fuss about guys these guys are out of Woodbridge Connecticut let me read to you what's on the can here Great, good fences make good neighbors unless you, next, unless you live next door to Satan. Yeah, I would agree with that. Then you may need something extra to help you cope. Like our 668, this hellaciously delicious Belgian style ale is brewed with Pilsner malts, candied sugar, and blended with American and German hops. 668, mortal tasted, goat lord approved. Uh. Imagine that. We got 668 on a mailbox here, so it's very interesting. But it's got the flames coming around from the side, and it's got the, the beast head with the 668. It says Neighbor of the Beast on there. So, very cool graphics on this can. So, looking forward to this one, guys. 668. Not the beast, but right next door. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Alright, this is, uh, like I said, this is a. A Belgian strong ale coming in. It says 8.5 here on uh, Rape Beer, but uh, Beer Advocate says 9%. And it doesn't have it on the can, so I'm not exactly sure which is correct. So it's somewhere between 8.5 and 9%, guys. So we'll see if we can taste any of that alcohol when we pop the top on this one in a few minutes here. Alright, uh, food pranks for this beer. Since it is a Belgian strong pale ale, it says the food pairings is uh, general aspartite or digestive, which means before or after dinner. And the meat is game and salmon on this. Glassware, the snifter tulip oversized wine glass. I got the double glass for this. And this says it can be sold for long periods, but uh, eight and a half, nine percenter, I guess it probably would. So I don't know what kind of, and using American and German hops. I don't know what American hops that they've used, whether it's a more pungent type of in-your-face hop or they're going with something more subtle to match the uh, the, the uh, European-style hops, which would you know, normally be the Tetanang uh, and the uh, uh, Kent Goldings and Saz and uh, the more floral, spicy, herbal-type hops. So, uh, I don't think there's anything else we need to talk about, so without further ado, let's get the Neighbor of the Beast open. 668. And it is coming out of the can. Look at that. <laughs> it's ready to go. I've got a feeling this is going to be pretty carbonated, so I'm not going to pour it too aggressive. I don't want five fingers of head, but I might get three anyway. Very carbonated. Not overly carbonated, but very carbonated. <clears throat> yes, we do have almost three fingers of head with that very easy pour. Kind of, uh, kind of carbonated, wouldn't you think? Yeah, I, I think so. All right, over to the light. It is very cloudy. It is uh, an amber, orangey color, tangerine color. 
or as uh, Barrick says, uh, when I make up words like tangerine, uh, looks very good in the glass. Doesn't look like a filtered beer, looks like it's unfiltered. Very nice looking beer in the glass. Soapy looking bubbles. Definitely a uh, nice head on this beer. Very creamy looking in the top though. What do you think guys? That look like a good beer? I have a good strong bell to nail. Let's get a nose on it. Wow. You can tell the Belgian yeast has got it going on in here. I mean, pineapple, banana, grapefruit, oranges, tangerines, apricots. Very pleasant aroma on this beer. Wonderful aroma, I may add. Well, that smells delicious. Got a lot of stuff going on in here with the Belgian yeast and the hops and, and the Pilsner malt. Probably a little bready, bready biscuity ness in there. Well, got me, got me drooling over here. It's about that time. And as you see, the head is dissipating fairly quickly. We've got about a finger and a half here. But it's also leaving some nice lacing already and I haven't even took a drink yet. Hmm, imagine that. Hmm, smells wonderful guys. Cheers everybody. Cheers Brian. Thank you sir. Very nice. The Belgian yeast and the hops they have used it's got, it's got a nice spicy, lemony, grapefruit, mango, pineapple, coriander. Hmm. Whether it's 8.5 or 9%, very well made. Not getting any of that alcohol. Very tasty. Look at the lacing on that glass. Wow. Both of the new uh, England beers that he sent have been pretty damn tasty. So Brian, thumbs up for the two great beers that you sent me. New England Brewery's got it going on. The only fuss I've got is the date on the can. So I don't know how big this brewery is, but or whether they're dating the six pack or the 12 pack or however this is produced or the case uh, dating those other apparatuses when you're buying singles is, is it's not a good thing to me so that would be the only fuss I have so far on this beer but this is 40 degrees right out of the fridge like they always are usually we're gonna let it warm up and let the other half taste it see what she thinks of it and uh, we'll come back and do the final chug and the uh, final comments and grades on this one stick around I'll be right back Alright guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. The Belgian yeast in this beer is awesome. There's a breadiness and there's a fruitiness to this beer that is simply delicious. I mean, it's... <sighs> Everything works so well together. The grapefruit, the pineapple, the breadiness of the biscuit biscuitiness of this beer is awesome. Coriander comes into play. Then it's, it's everything you want in a Belgian strong ale. It really, really is. Let's do the final chug, guys. Wow. Very tasty. Very, very tasty. To me, guys, this beer is a very good example of a Belgian strong ale. The Belgian yeast is this it's there. I mean it's up front, it's in your face, you can smell it, you can taste it. The fruitiness of the beer goes well with the yeast and the breadiness and the maltiness of the beer. Very well made beer guys. Definitely an A beer as far as I'm concerned. 
The only thing I could fuss about, I was going to give it a 9, but it has no date on it, so it's going to get the 8 for me because it has no date on it. It's a 9 for 8.5 to 9 percenter. It's not going to go bad anytime soon, but we still need that information on the can. Put it on the bottom of the can like most other guys that do the, uh, the cans in their brewery. And uh, you would get to nine for me, guys. Uh, but we don't have that information, so. And the other can didn't have it either. So that is the only fuss I've got about the uh, New England Brewery, that they're not dating the cans. So, with that being said, we're going to stick to the guns, and I'm going to give it the eight, which is an A minus. Definitely an A beer, guys. Definitely worth picking up and trying if you can get this. I don't think they have a huge distribution area. I've not seen this beer around here. Uh, like I said, they're out of Connecticut, so. Uh, uh, Brian sent this down to me, so uh, I, I, and he, I, I'm pretty sure he was up in Connecticut, so it's probably a pretty easy to get get beer there, but not seeing it around here. So uh, would like to see it around here. I really would. It'd be it's a, it's a damn tasty beer, nice Belgian strong ale, guys. So let's see what everybody else thinks about this beer. We'll go. Excuse me. We'll go over to Beer Advocate first. Beer Advocate says 90 in the outstanding range. I agree with that number 100%. Uh, if I was to put a uh, number on this beer, it would be between a, a 90 and a 93, somewhere in that area. So, very tasty, guys. I enjoyed it thoroughly. All right, over to Rate Beer. Rate Beer says 92 overall and 85 in the style. Don't think the style numbers I agree with. I think it fits that style very well. But the overall 92, I agree with 100%. That's ex exactly where I would be putting this beer as far as the numeric rating on this one. So, very tasty, very enjoyable. I did like it. I liked it a lot. So, don't drink a whole lot of this when I do my session beers. Or, in fact, you call it drinking two or three beers a session. Uh, but, um, I enjoyed it. It's very pleasant, very nice, very representation of the style. Alright guys, uh, that's where we're going to leave it today. If you've had uh, this beer from uh, New England Brewing, give me some comments back on this one, whether you liked it or didn't like it. Hit the like button while we're liking everything, and rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow. Maybe we'll get us another A beer. Got my fingers crossed. See you then.